Washington, President Joe Biden paid his respects to Britain's Queen Elizabeth II late Thursday by making an unscheduled visit to the British Embassy, where he signed a book of condolences and offered his sympathies to the embassy staff. We mourn for all of you, Biden said. She was a great lady. I'm so delighted I got to meet her. A photo of the Queen, who died Thursday, sat on the table with the condolence book and a bouquet of flowers. First Lady Jill Biden accompanied the President and also signed her name. Our hearts are with you, the First Lady said. Earlier Thursday, the Bidens issued a statement hailing the U. As longest serving monarch for leading with grace, an unwavering commitment to duty and the incomparable power of her example. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II was more than a monarch, the statement said. She defined an era. Next in line, who succeeds Queen Elizabeth II? More questions answered prior to her death Queen Elizabeth II died Thursday at Balmoral Castle, her estate in Scotland. She was 96. Her eldest son and heir, Prince Charles, Prince of Wales, 73, immediately became king upon her death. Biden has known the queen for three decades and has met her three times, most recently in June 2021, when she hosted them and the First Lady at Windsor Castle during their visit to the U.K. to attend a group of seven leaders summit. After that visit, Biden told reporters the Queen was very gracious and said he invited her to the White House. Biden said the monarch reminded him of his late mother. Biden ordered flags over the White House and other public buildings be flown at half-staff until sunset on the day of the Queen's burial. Former you, as President also fondly remembered meeting the Queen, Back when we were just beginning to navigate life as President and First Lady, she welcomed us to the world stage with open arms and extraordinary generosity, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama said in a statement. Time and again, we were struck by her warm, the way she put people at ease, and how she brought her considerable humor and charm in moments of great pomp and circumstance. The Obamas said they were in awe of the Queen's legacy of tireless, dignified public service, 